Little bit overcast day here in Bangkok. But still a nice view. Hey folks, chair with Focus on Asia. <clears throat> Just uh, showing a little of view back here. Last day in Bangkok, heading to Cambodia tomorrow, see him reap. Gonna go visit Angkor Wat, a place that's been on my bucket list for a while. So uh, bring you along for that. This video here is uh, last food video for here in Bangkok. I know some people don't like the food videos. Brian, talking to you. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, Bangkok Eats 2, we'll call it. And uh, just showing, again, fantastic food here in Bangkok. We got a noon flight tomorrow, I think it is. And uh, yeah, one week in Cambodia, then we'll be back to Thailand. Thailand for another 29 nights. Uh, we'll be driving down south, be hitting Phuket, um, Krabi, Surat Thani, a bunch of places. So bring you along for that as well. So let's get on to the Bangkok Eats video. Let's go. This is our uh, dining for the evening. Kru Jang Mai. Since 1999, this place has cow soy. This is on Thong Lo. Thong Lo. This is one block over from us. Basically, our condo is that way. One block. Not a far walk for us. This is much more busier area than uh, where we're at on Ekamai as far as restaurants and stuff. So let's go in here and uh, show you some food. I don't know if I failed to mention or not, but this restaurant is all northern Thai cuisine, Chiang Mai area. So uh, to go with that, we got this Chiang Mai beer. You see that? Supposedly it's a. Uh, Blossom Wizen. So hopefully like a wheat beer. Give that a try. We'll flip this around. Mr. C has got a uh, blue blue tea soda. Alright, Mr. C dishes out. This is the cow soy with the beef shank. Cow soy if you're not familiar. It comes with these pickled vegetables, onions, lime. Cow soy is a northern dish. It's kind of like a uh, curry soup. Uh, really good noodles and uh, I've got the pork looks real tasty all right our only other dishes come out these are spicy pork rolls with a sweet dipping sauce all right grand total 907.47 baht I'll put the conversion right here uh, everything was good Cow soy was uh, delicious. The food was like really good. I uh, definitely recommend this place in this Tonglor area if you're looking for some cow soy. This uh, Soho New York style pizza actually looks uh, decently legit. The crust looks good. Classic meat lover, roasted mushroom, pepperoni. I got a slice. Even though we just ate cow soy, 
I'll get a slice of pizza to try at the house. But see up here the promotion. Got a decent seating area in the upstairs. It's even got the uh, red and white tile, which is you know pizza joints in New York and the East Coast. So we'll see how it is. 160 baht for a slice. Slice is pretty big. All right, let's do the unveiling of this New York style Soho pizza slice. Uh, looking big, golden. Let's get that New York fold going. Let's give this thing a <laughs> Why'd it take three weeks for me to find this pizza? Soho Tong Lore. I'll put a link in the description. Look at the crust. See that on the back? Legit New York pizza. Highly recommend. This is the Big C shopping center on Ekamai. We're about to go eat here. Lunch, Sunrise Tacos chain here in Bangkok. All right, this is uh, Sunrise Tacos. It's got a pretty cool decor though. Already looking promising. This was 90 baht. Chips and salsa, unlimited chips. The refill, and uh, we got three salsas and a pico de gallo. So looking pretty good. To start off. Yeah. Fresh. Fresh. Freshly made, fried. How's the salsa? Legit. Legit. Dang, I got a legit from Mississippi. All right, my dish has come out. This is the Tijuana tacos, basically like a shredded chicken, guacamole sauce, some onions. Actually got some chips again, got some salsa. Uh, all three salsas are actually pretty good in the pico de gallo. But as it should be, the king, the king got served first. Ooh. Where's your food? It's cooking. King. They're making sure it's Served delicious. first. It's a man's world. All right, Mr. Say's food's come out. We got the enchilada plate, rice, refried beans. What kind of enchilada? Beef, chicken? Beef. Beef? Chicken? Beef. Beef? All right. The food looks pretty good. Time to eat. Give you a total in a bit. All right, just got done eating sunrise tacos. Actually, uh, pretty decent tacos. Miss Cecilia said uh, her enchiladas and rice and beans was pretty good. Uh, grand total, 829 baht. Put the conversion right about here. So, uh, yeah, I still think Missing Borough is a really good place for tacos. But uh, if you're near a Sunrise Tacos and craving some Mexican, then uh, give it a try. Dinner tonight, we're in a uh, izakaya, a large izakaya called Era. There it is here, Era. This is right next door to our condo. We've been meaning to come over here and we finally did. We just got us a pitcher of Asahi coming. They got your drinks here. And uh, they specialize in lab. There's lots of lab choices this whole menu here this whole page is lab so we'll show you the food when it comes out here's the beer 
So we're upstairs on the inside part. They got this outside seating here. And then downstairs, just as big on the inside. And then the outside, you get all these tables. And they get a live acoustic going on. You see here, we're nestled right across from Donkey Mall. And uh, a few dishes have come out. This is the ant egg salad. You see the ant, the white. That's the ant eggs. Got some skirt steak. Mrs. C got her liver skewer. All looks good. Show you the rest of the food when it comes out. All right, next dish has come out. This is the uh, lab salad with the uh, beef tongue. Normally lab is, uh, I think most common one is pork, moo. But uh, we tried it, decided to get some beef tongue tonight. All right, last dish maybe. It's come out. This is uh, tempura vegetables. Looks mostly leaves. Maybe holy basil. We'll uh, give it a try. Let's see how it is. All right, food total in this Thai izakaya is uh, what was it? One one. One one six four baht. I'll put the conversion right about here. Had a few beers. Let me flip this around. Everything was good. What do you think? So basically it's like a izakaya, <clears throat> but most of the menu is uh, Thai, which you know is a little twist, which uh, I found uh, refreshing and good. I thought when we come over it'd be all Japanese, which is no problem. We love Japanese food, but having it being uh, mostly Thai menu is actually pretty cool. So definitely recommend this place. Pasta here, salad, pizza, and then a bunch of vegan options. Vegan sandwiches, vegan pizza, vegan pasta. So that's another place that's close to the condo. Another local eat here in Ekamai. So getting some sandwiches to go. You ready to eat a sandwich? Yeah. I'll show you the food when we get back to the uh, condo. This is the outside Panini, Panini Mafia. It's a nice little small joint uh, right down this alley. This right here is the side of Donkey Mall. So if you're familiar with Ekamai and Donkey Mall, this uh, Mafia is right down down the road, right down this little side alley. It's a cool little uh, Panini shop. Something different from the uh, Thai food. Get you a Panini. Got an outside seating area as well as inside. All right, back at the condo. Already took a bite out of this one. Delicious. This is the chicken. It's got avocado and uh, tomato. And uh, like a homemade mayonnaise. And then this here, this monstrosity, is the porchetta. Lettuce, pork, and uh, a sauce. Yeah, 450 baht, roughly uh, 13 bucks. I'll put the good version. That's another local eats. Give me a close up. What's going on? All right, we're back at a local place next to our condo. We've been here before, showed you this before, but I'll spin it around anyways. Kang. Ban Ekamai. This is the uh, one that has numerous little stalls in here, but a lot of them are specialty. Only got a couple things. This one has a bunch of Pad Caprao. It's got curry. Mississippi's got a green curry coming. I've got a Pad Caprao, but I got chicken. Just try chicken instead of the uh, usual pork. So we'll show you the food when it comes out. Food has arrived. This is the pad capra with the chicken. 
Die now, egg on top. Mr. Sayers green curry looks pretty delicious. I think she's hoping it's spicy. Yeah. Ready to eat? Forgot to give the uh, <coughs> lunch total two plates. It was 150 baht. And then uh, two drinks was 40 baht. So grand total 190 baht. I'll put the conversion. On to the next place. All right, tonight was a stay home night. Just get some food here, quick. And uh, decided to uh, give Uncle G's hot dog joint some more love. Uh, met the owner, Gary, his Thai wife, Joy. Uh, they're the owners of the Uncle G's hot dog joint. Gary's originally from Chicago, uh, lived in New York for a while, and decided to make Thailand his home. And uh, so that explains the good hot dogs, Chicago. He said his dad had hot dog uh, joint in Chicago area. For those of you from the U.S., you know Chicago is the land of the hot dog. Uh, really good hot dogs there. So, uh, yeah, show you the hot dog. This is the all beef. Comes with the fries piled on top. Um, I've got mustard, relish, and uh, hot peppers on here. I don't get the onions. I'm not an onion guy on my hot dogs. But uh, fries are great. Five, the fries are very similar to uh, the way I could describe them as Five Guys fries. Uh, for those of you familiar with Five Guys hamburgers in the States, the thick cut potatoes and uh really like these this style fries so uh if you're in the ekamai area thong lo or area or anywhere in bangkok and you're craving a hot dog stop by gary's uncle g's hot dog joint uh pin it i'll pin it in the uh description box sushi pizza anyone only in thailand Famous favorite place here in this Hikamai area. Nam Jit Kayan. Show the food here so far. We got a sliced pork spicy salad. We got the Tom Yum, which is a staple here. And we got a uh, half grilled chicken coming out. But uh, this is our go to place. Prices are good, food is good. So, uh, Sorry that we keep it in the same couple of the same places, but when you find a good place, it's a good hangout spot. Alright, look at all this deliciousness. Chicken has come out. Time to eat. Alright, total damage. 375. Food was good, as always. Highly recommend this place. Check them out. All right, do a little unveiling. Grab delivery. Shake Shack. Look at that beautiness. Double burger on the bottom, single burger on the top. Some fries. Shake Shack is hard to beat. All right, in this previous video, Bangkok Local Eats, I uh, showed a burger place here, and I said it was was uh, probably the best burger I had in Asia. I think that was a lack of good burger in a while. Delirium. <laughs> but anyways, Shake Shack is still my number one. Uh, in a month here, I had, we've had that burger place that I showed. We've had Prime Burger, which is uh, kind of like a chain here in, in uh, Bangkok and Pattaya. Excellent burger as well. Uh, but I will still put, now having had Shake Shack here, I will put Shake Shack number one. Uh, Prime Burger number two. And that other place is number three. <laughs> This is a 
Thai traveling tip of the day. Brought to you by no one, because no one will sponsor my channel, because it's too small. Get you a 7-Eleven water bottle, six bot, drink it down to the top of the green label, Big C. If you like Thai iced tea, Thai milk tea, this bag has 13 satchels in it for 69 baht. This is what they look like. Two of these equals one bottle here. All right, it helps if you uh, put in the first packet, then shake it up real good, and then you can go ahead and pour in the second packet of powder. So there's your finished product for the cost of less than 20 baht per big bottle like this once it's mixed up the two packets um, this is probably equivalent to two Thai iced teas that you get on the street man because they put a lot of ice in there and those are like 40 to 60 baht you're gonna pay depending on where you go and this is less than 20 baht so so good this has been your cheap Charlie budget travel tip sponsored by no one so that's the uh, wrap up of the Bangkok food uh, we'll be back to Bangkok in uh, at last two weeks in November I'm sure we'll show some food but this is the last you know food compilation of Bangkok probably video so appreciate you guys watching as always appreciate our subscribers and uh, see you on the next video take care